Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. Today I have something really interesting for you. This is my Rift S, and as you can tell, it looks a bit different than your Rift S. And the reason for this is that my Rift S can read my mind, and with my mind, I can control things in VR. Impossible? No. This is looks a link, and check this out. This is actually measuring my brain waves while I'm using the headset. And with this information, I can control things in VR with my mind. In this video, we're going to unbox the device and I'm going to show you how to install it onto the Rift S. And then in a subsequent video, I'm going to show you software, I'm going to show you examples for this. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest review of all the VR headsets and I'm showing you exciting new VR accessories like the Luxit Link. So if you're into VR and if you want to stay up to date then subscribe now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Mind control in virtual reality. Now that sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But it's not. This is the Luxit Link and it's made by a company called Luxit Labs from South Korea. Now, I had met them last year at the Augmented World Expo in Munich, and at that time, I already thought, like, hey, that is a really fascinating concept, but I had no chance to try it out myself. So I have asked them, hey, could I have a review unit to check it out? And yes, I got it, and that's why I can bring you this video here now. So, what is this actually about? Well, check this out. This here, this will measure your brain waves and your brain activity. And this data is made available to the developer. So with this data, either they can analyze it, like how's your brain activity, left, right, are you paying attention to what you're seeing, and so on and so forth. Or they can use it in real time for you to control the game or control the VR app. And that's what I'm going to show you in another video. So, before I show you how this came to me, before I show you the unboxing and the installation, let's have a look at their website and find out what you can also do with this. All right, here's the Luxit Link website. Connect your mind to VR, the most VR compatible brain sensing technology. Before we go deeper into this, you might want to know for which VR headsets this is available and how expensive is it. So, let's go to the store. And we'll find out that actually this is available for Rift S, the one that I have here. Okay, let it load for a moment. And for the Vive Pro and for the original Vive. Now it's going to send you back $299 for all of these versions. So let's go back to home. And let's have a look what it actually does. So connect your mind to VR, most VR compatible brain sensing technology. And of course, first of all, the data can be visualized. First of all, we have the 2D visualizer. It can show you the activity level of which side of your brain is working, left and right. You can see the attention level and you can see your relaxation level in this, in this example. And you have another one where you can visualize these things in 3D in VR. And you have also, you can have a customized UI because, well, they have a Unity API and it allows you to acquire the VR user's mind and feature indexes for each EEG channel. So, really interesting stuff. But more interesting probably is the interaction. And again, this is what I'm going to show you in another video. So, using that data that the developer gets from the headset, you can actually control things in VR. Like here, for example, the Interaction Playground. The Interaction Playground, as its name indicates, is a demo app where users can use their brain signals to levitate the boxes into the air using Luxit Labs algorithms to detect attention. <laughs> really interesting. Or also, Neurogaming in VR. You can implement a Neurogaming interface in a variety of superpower and FPS games using Luxit Link's Unity API, which provides VR users real time and mind indexes. All right, very cool. Neurofeedback therapy, and uh, well, another thing that you can do, of course, analyze. 
So you can analyze how the user is feeling when he yeah, looks at a car, for example. And I believe this is really interesting for, yeah, of course, healthcare and also for research. Anyways, you can have a look at yourself on the website looksitlabs.com. I'm going to put a link down in the description of this video. But now let me show you how this came to me and let me show you how I installed it onto the Rift S. And that is the box that the Luxit link comes in and it says meet the most VR compatible brain sensing technology. Really interesting. These are the stylized sensors and here it says connect your mind to VR. I can't wait, honestly speaking. This is the version for the Rift S and there's also a version for the Vive and the Vive Pro. So let's open this up and have a look inside the box. One more thing to do here and here we go. Here it is. This here, what you see here, is the Luxit core. This little piece is the actual interface. This is what the sensors will be connected to and this will also connect to your computer using a USB connection. So let's have a look at the interfaces that this device has. First of all, what we can see here, this is on and off, the on and off switch. There's also a little LED to show us if it's on or not. And then on the other side, we have the micro USB jack. And then there's another interface, a magnetic interface that I'm going to show you later. Right, so this is the main device actually, Luxit Core. Let's check what else is in the box. So this is the warranty and on that little card, you will find the URL that you will need to find the setup process. So what do we have here? Now, this is the important part, of course. These are the sensors which are going to rest on your forehead and which are going to sense your brain waves. Let's check this out. This is how it looks like. You have several of these gold plated sensors and checking them out, like, like if I press on them like, like this, they are not really fixed. They are not really like rigid. You can press them in a bit and probably that's so that it will be more comfortable on the user's forehead. On the other side, you will find this interface. And actually, this is a magnetic interface which will connect to the Luxit core. And as you can see now or in a moment now, this works really well. And I'm going to show you how that works later when we connect this to the Rift S. What else is in the box? Let's have a look. We'll find this 3D printed part. Now with this part, you're going to clip the whole thing to your Rift S and this is a very important connector and how we're going to use it, I will show you in a moment. Then we also find this very long USB cable. This is just as long as your Rift S cable and that will connect your Luxit link to your computer. All right, let's install this. So this is the 3D printed part. You will simply clip it onto your Rift S just like this. And you can tell it is clipped on and it's very stable. Then from the other part, you would put this magnetic sensor through that little gap between the headband and the headset, just like that. And then you will clip the sensors to that 3D printed part. And that actually works really well without any problems. I'm doing this right now. You can't really see that right now. But after only a few moments, it's like this and it's fixed in place really well. Now you connect this magnetic interface to the Luxit core, just like that. It works just like a charm. And then you connect the Luxit core to that 3D printed part. Just stick it on there like this. That also works without a problem. And now that's it. Your Luxit link is connected to your Rift S and the whole thing only took a few minutes, probably two minutes maximum. All right, as you can tell, the installation was really simple and now I have a Rift S which can read my mind. Check this out again. I think that's really cool. And as in all my unboxings, I'm also going to do a face on with this now. And uh, yeah, I want to know how does it feel? Is it like very distracting? Is it very different from the normal comfort of the Rift S? I'm going to show you now.
All right, I have it on now and um, of course I can feel now the sensors which are now pressing against my forehead, but I wouldn't say this is uncomfortable, right? It's different for sure and it's for sure more comfortable without it, but it's not that I could not use this now. So I think it's, it's totally fine for this purpose of sensing my brain waves and yeah, for me um, controlling things in VR <laughs> with my mind and definitely that is absolutely fine. So yeah, I think they found a cool way to integrate it into the Rift S without like, uh, yeah, making it like unusable. So this is definitely still usable and I can't wait to show you how I control things in VR with my mind in the next video. Okay, I really hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and first face on. And you know what? I would love to know what you think about this technology or do you have some interesting ideas for games or for some other apps that could use this sensing your, your brain waves and sensing your left, right brain, left or right brain activity or the relaxation levels or the attention levels. Please do let me know in the comment section below. I really want to know, want to find out what you think could be done with this kind of technology. All right, if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, I would be very happy if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.